make your plans now. You have only minutes to find your tornado safe place, get there, and let this storm pass over you. So we can't stress enough that this is just the beginning of what's to come. Once I've seen it in person, I was terrified for my life. looking at us. It's picking up and decide to turn. It's coming here. The hail felt like it was forever. I remember being afraid that this might be it. Where's that debris? Oh my God! basically a typical day. Didn't think much about the weather that day. Didn't seem any different than any other day. It was just an ordinary day. The weather, as I recall, was pretty fair. It didn't look like a storm of any kind, but I was listening to the radio and they were warning us that storms were coming. So it was very important that we be aware of what goes on. A tornado warning just about to come out for Du Bois County. You can see we're under the high risk of severe weather cloudy downtown with a few peaks of sun. Our focus is back out to the west of us. I'm the Wave 3 News Chief Meteorologist. And just after noon, we started to see those storms about 120 miles to our west. So once we went on the air, we never went off because of the ominous nature of that storm. And we were well aware that the Weather Channel was going to be somewhere around the region. Hey guys, our satellite dish is down. Crew is under cover and getting there at the moment. You can see why ominous conditions are coming our way here in Louisville, Kentucky. We knew there would be thunderstorms that would develop off to our west and they would propagate over us and then we would be able to move on from there. So it was a really good position to start in Louisville. I came home around noon and my husband was watching the news. This is not something to drive into as it crosses over Clark County and eventually. We were hearing that there could be tornadoes and that it was going to get bad. Wayne was very, very concerned about it. I told him, oh, they always have that, don't worry about it. And so we started watching for it. We had all the children scheduled to be in the gymnasium uh, shortly after the start of the day to have a play. But we kind of kept an eye on the weather throughout the day. About 2.25, I received a phone call warning us that storms were coming in our direction. Those started the wheels turning of what we do next. Uh, do we evacuate? Do we get all the kids in the safe areas that we could get to? Troy and I talked to each other and we said, let's go, let's send them home. They actually came over the intercom and said we were gonna dismiss the kids now. And at that point I was kind of like, what is going on? But once we had the kids loaded, the tornado sirens actually went off in town. My two daughters were in school that day. And when they came in my room, they're like, Dad, what do you want to do? And I said, just go away from here as far as you can. Just, you know, head away from the storm. You need to find your tornado safe place. Reports of funnel clouds have been coming out along I-64. This is a high-risk day, first high-risk of uh, 2012. So we should be uh, closing in on it shortly. We're both from Michigan, but we came to southern Indiana because we saw an exceptional setup for chasing storms. We should be seeing something over there pretty soon, a wall cloud and who knows what else. As we approached Louisville, we turned north on 135 and we saw the funnel for the first time. And right there, is, oh, there's a funnel. There's a tornado right there, Bill. See it? Oh, yeah. See it? Yeah. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a tornado. Jeez. Now, look at that. 
As soon as we saw that funnel, I knew this tornado had potential to kill people because it was going to be big, violent, and it was going to have a fairly long track. We have a tornado on the ground. It's moving northeast at what speed, Andy? Uh, looks like 55 miles per hour is what they're reporting on these. On the we had the news people waiting to respond to anything that may have happened, and we had our weather team devoted to getting real-time information out. Put as many walls as you possibly can in between you and the outside environment. A lot of I was the morning meteorologist, but my grandparents lived a little north of Henryville. I was tracking these storms. I was keeping everybody safe. But in the back of my mind, I thought, I want to make sure my Mimi and Papa were OK. I uh, work on an uh, ambulance here in Clark County. Yeah, I was off work that day. Of course, I'd heard the reports of the tornado coming in. And when I found out that there was one that actually touched down, I thought, well, it might, be, might actually be serious. So I went to the firehouse to help. It's a strong tornado, looks like. It formed fast. There it goes. Tornado in front of us. There it goes. Yep. This tornado was a race car. It was a rocket ship. This was one of the fastest ones I've ever seen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Holy smokes. Watch how fast that thing is. Yeah. Big tornado. Strong tornado. This is forested territory, the road winds, it's hilly, and just the drama of how that tornado evolved and changed shape made it visually very unique. Wow. Look at that sucker. Oh, it's so close to that house. Holy oh, smokes. It's frightening. It's a helpless feeling because once Mother Nature decides this is where this tornado is going, there is nothing you can do yeah. but be a spectator. We are close. Three. We could see it getting bigger and bigger and wider and wider. And by the time it crossed the road in front of us, we could tell that it was going to do serious damage. Look at that thing go. Wow. It's on the car you this road. Yep. Whenever a tornado intensifies that quickly, you know you've got a serious situation on your hand. Some people may not be alive in 20 minutes. I just spoke to someone on the phone. They're in their basement. They have lost power, and it sounds like a train is on top of their house. Their house is shaking. You know, I was watching the news, and clouds just started getting really dark, and my parents just like, oh, uh, go outside and just start, you know, checking out this, the storm. Here comes the wind. I can hear it coming. This looks bad right looks there. Bad. This is what they're talking about. They told everybody get out go home. This is it. I just really still didn't believe that it's actually coming over that hill. And it's terrifying that, you know, you can't see it and you don't even know it's really even coming. This is it right here coming over the hill. Oh, right here. Oh, Do we need to get a I was perfectly fine until I seen it come over the hill. That's when I really panicked. Oh, God. My mom is yelling, my dad's yelling, and I just really couldn't think straight at all. Mom, do we need to jump in the car? Yeah, jump in the car, what? What? I didn't really know what was going to happen. Once I seen it in person, live, that's when I knew I was looking at death. Yeah, come on, go, 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 go,